Do, 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 do. Hello, peoples, this is Beta Knights, and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Sun Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Hey, guys, this is Silent Senior 9, and this is Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. And if you don't know who I was just about to do for an impression, or a bad impression at that, because I'm not really that good at in impersonating other people, that was Beta Knights, and if y'all haven't heard of him, you need to go check him out, because he's freaking awesome. He's a boss, man, I'm telling you. I've watched a lot of his content, and I've thoroughly enjoyed his style. It's, I don't know, I just, I feel like he does a better job than I do as far as editing goes, and just, his sense of humor is a lot more lighthearted than mine, and more impressive, I feel, but that's just me. Uh, anyway, enough of me gushing about other people. Jeez, man. Much of a bromance? Lord have mercy, give people the wrong idea. So let's go ahead and actually take on this next shine sprite, good lord. Wait, wait, start off the episode real awkward-like. <laughs> So the shell secret, I'm sure you probably were thinking, like, okay, you, like, walked past the secret of the sh or the secret of the shell, basically, like, three times. Why couldn't you just take care of it? Well, I kind of got all those coins, and I wanted to take care of that first, you know. Master Mario, you've become tied to your destiny, and my narrator seems to have a burp, so excuse him for a second. Oh my god, it was disgusting! Anyway, another world has opened above the fair land. Surely you will go there! Of course, you must go there! I apologize for involving you in all of this. Good luck! We'll cheer you on from here. Farewell! Yes, that's right, I'm gonna hang you here on the ground while you climb. Oh, thanks, pal. I'm glad I can count on you in a call of duty. Wait, what? No, never mind. Okay, so this one's actually not really too, too bad. I feel like I say that too far too often, but that's okay. It's what I'm comfortable with, so I might as well go with it. You'll have to climb the ropes to climb up there, I'm afraid. What, you're afraid of heights? I don't feel bad, I am too, to a degree. <laughs> Good grief, man, what the heck? Two in a row? Two times in a row, man. I know I'm not going to make that reference, I'm sorry. I just can't. I don't do it as good as NCS does it, or even Beta Knights and the Data Knight for that matter. When they were ouch, when they were doing it on their uh, Paper Mario co-op together, that was pretty kick ours too. Anyway, I'm gonna stop trying to reference him because he's probably gonna be like, "Dude, just stop, stop." You, you're just I don't even know what is this. I don't even shenanigans. Anyway, so you can finagle your way up here any way you feel comfortable doing so. In the long run, you know, as long as you get up here. However you do it, that's all that matters, so let's stop trying to drag out the suspense, shall we? Oh no! Here we do here we go once again. Okay, so let's see. Initial opinion of this place. Um, there are parts to it that I don't mind. Like the like near the end, it's not so bad, but the beginning? Oh my gosh, it is a real beast of burden to do. First off, you have to actually wall jump your way out just to get this place started. So that that right there is just a red flag saying, great, now we're in for a real treat. And I don't believe, let me double check here. I hope there's an extra man or extra Mario here. I could really use them, honestly. I died quite a few actually, quite a few times in the next world, actually, and I just I'd rather be prepared. You know, like that song. Be prepared. Yes, our teeth and ambitions are bad. Be prepared. Ah! Oh, sorry. I actually had to sing karaoke recently, and that, I actually chose to sing Scar's song, Be Prepared, just, just because I knew it so well. Because I had to do, like, a presentation one time, and I ended up memorizing the lyrics to that blessed song. Hence why when I did Donna's Death Water Challenge, because this is about the same... That was about the same time I actually ended up doing it. And I don't know why, it's just his song has kind of stuck to me since then, so I'm like, I'm really comfortable singing it. Despite how dark and, like, chill-inducing it is to be prepared, you know, how the drums played and all that jazz. Well, there's no jazz, really, it's more like jungle beat and stuff like that, it's just kind of tense and freaky. Anyway, why am I talking about that? Seriously. You gotta start focusing your head in the game, man. Get your head in the game. Alright, so this part... <laughs> I struggle with this part sometimes, because sometimes I don't do it right, but what I like to do is I like to make a, as that one song goes, make a beeline for the door, except make a beeline for that right up there. Basically run diagonally straight across right here. 
Because if you try to walk up here like so... Yeah, that's what happens. Oops. And if you don't land on something solid, that's also what happens. Go figure. Uh, so I guess I'll meet you guys back where uh, I was. Excuse me for a second. Wow. No, that was pretty freaking sweet. I am so totally keeping that. I don't care what anybody says. You can just take a flying kiss at my rump bump, man. That was freaking awesome, and I'm totally keeping that. Why am I talking still? Oh my gosh! No, what? Oh. Well, I guess I gotta keep it now. Good lord, man. It's like counterproductive there. You freaking do an excellent jump, and then you go and do that. What the heck is wrong with you, sir? Seriously. Alright, so upsy daisy. Dude. Why am I singing to the song? It's gonna be off key. Cause I can't hold a tune to save my life. I am really deaf tone. Wait, did I say deaf tone? I said anyway. Okay, so I'm back. Wow, that was really obnoxious. Oops. I just saw the sound wave and it's like really loud. So let me uh, demonstrate what I was trying to do. Um, without the oops. Well, I was trying to demonstrate with an oops, but without dying, but obviously. You guys got to see how pleasant that is to try and just simply walk up there, but you have to actually run up that ramp. And like I said, like I, or like I just demonstrated, you have to kind of di 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 do the hip dip. Yeah, do the hip dip. That's the way to do it. In like Big Mama's house. The hip dip! No. Uh, you have to do a diagonal run up that slope. Alright, so this part's a little nasty, but it's doable. Um, there's a hard way and easy way to do it. The hard way is to go and do a diagonal wall jump there, and then wall jump off there, and then somehow land on the corner up there on that ledge. I'm not going to do that, because that's just stupid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a backwards jump, bounce off the wall, and get up here like that. Because I don't feel like having to risk my risk Mario's life, for that matter, just to get up there and be a show-off. Now, this one, however... It might be possible to do this one even simpler, but I find it's easier to do two wall jumps, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce off of that, bounce off of that, and then land up there, hopefully. So let's see how that works. Ready? Boink. Boink. There we go. It's not too, too bad, really. Look, It looks terrifying. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to do that. Uh, it's... It's just kind of one of those things where you, you do it and you do it to it, and then basically you just get really good at it. Holy god! Oh, 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 holy, holy guacamole! There we go. I was trying to say something, and <laughs> I had two words kept combining together, making a weird sound. I kept saying Olga, 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 Olga. You know, like Olga Bataki from freaking Hey Arnold, man. Hey Arnold! Arnold! Oh shoot! This is what I get for talking about some nonsense. Man, take forever to die, sir. Seriously, what the fudge? Yeah. Oh, what? No, come... Oh, for heaven's sake, I had that. That's highway robbery. That That's bull. Bull cow manure, man. Oh, dear God. Come on, man. Not this. Sweet potato pie, not this. Alrighty, I think I was, like, right about here, because I recognized the fast spinning platform. Ugh. I can't believe I failed there. That was stupid, man. Really? Of all the things to fail on. Or maybe, actually, you know what it was? It was the spinning one right here. Jeez. Flo Rider would be so disappointed in me. You know, because he spin me right round, baby, right round. When you're going down, when you're going down, down. Anyway. That was another terrible impression of the song. It's not enough wine to it. That's one thing I noticed with the song, and I try to do it, but I suck at it so much. You gotta kind of whine with the song, you know, like you spin me right now, baby, right now. When you, you know, just you gotta kind of not nasally like I did. You have to kind of um, what's the word? It's a whine. That's what I want to say. It's not just you know, it's not like just a simple vodka or anything like that. It's like a kind of a wine, but without the nasal. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up about that. Jeez. So, uh, guess what, guys? We get to go back and do that level again. Yeah, I know. Y'all were looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. 
Mmm, girl, you just know it. Oh, gosh, I'm, I'm doing that, really? Yep. All right, so I'm going to meet you guys inside the shell secret, because you guys already know the way, so I'm going to save you the trip. So, see you in a second. Now, you stupid top. Fudge off! Spinning star, spinning star. Kick your face in, fool. And here we go. Let's go! Woohoo! Good lord, that wasn't even a good impression of Mario. That was like the Pillsbury Doughboy mixed with an Italian, and it's like they coupled together and had a baby, basically. Jeez. It's like I was trying to force my words out there. I was having, I was trying to not to say anything too provocative, because I'm trying to keep my channel considerably clean, because, I mean, it's pretty near impossible to do that and still be considered entertaining nowadays, it seems like. Because our media, our media, everything's like just so suggestive lately that you can't laugh unless it's dirty or something. Anyway, I'm gonna stop. Connect tape records for the tyrants out. Good luck! Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Alright. Let's see. My reaction to these red coins here. They're not too, too bad. They're really... They have they placed them really high off the ground, though, so they are kind of tedious to get to. They're not so much hard as they are just annoying to get to. Okay, this one I think I had to backflip, wall jump. And there we go, because I suck at jumping off the pole there. I sucked on... <laughs> God. Let's not even rephrase what I just said there. I stink at jump pole jumping and the Dire Dire Docks, actually. Is it Dire Dire Docks? Where do I roll? Yeah, it's Dire Dire Docks. That little pole jumping thing where you have to pole jump for red coins in Super Mario 64, I stink at that so much. I really, I truthfully cannot do that when it save the life of me. I, I truthfully, I mean, I, I'm alright with it, I guess, to a degree. I can get, it, I can get the job done, but otherwise, it is the most ungraceful dance you could ever imagine watching whenever you watch me trying to get those stupid red coins. I might actually sometime do do like a Let's Play of Super Mario 64. I mean, I'm not going to do it anytime soon, because as we all are very aware, that is a very overdone game as is. And honestly, I feel like I need more experience, you know, to be able to consider myself decent enough to do that, do a game that's been done so many times and make it fun and entertaining for y'all. Plus, I kind of have to build up my own reputation, you know, with my own sense of humor and style of doing things. Shay! Yay! Hmm, that reminds me, actually. I was, I was actually put in a good mood today because I saw that Donna Bells was uploading again. I'm like, yay! I was like a little kid in a candy store. I'm like, yay, Donna Bells is updating again! Oh, I'm so excited! And yet I feel kind of bad because I actually haven't watched the videos. I'm like, man, I feel like, I feel like such a lame fan of hers, man, seriously. Alright guys, that's all I have time for today, or that's all t much all the time we have for today as far as failings goes, and getting all the shine sprites and blue coins and yada yada. In fact, I don't think we've got any blue coins, but that's okay. We really only have four more to do, so. Uh, in the next episode, guys, we're gonna finish up Noki Bay, and then that'll probably do it for this evening, unless I'm just crazy enough to continue. Uh, question of the video. Good God, I don't have a question of the video. Um, let me think here. What is your opinion on Skyward Sword? Recently I've been playing it myself, and it's been a lot of fun, actually, so I'm curious to see what you all think about it, honestly. I don't really have a full opinion of it yet, because I haven't finished playing it, but so far, I give it a thumbs up, so leave it in the comments what you think of Skyward Sword. Peace out, y'all. Love you very much. Don't let your toes flap, and take care. Bye.